Hey everybody, it's Sam McGuire. We're going to look at the new update to GarageBand for iOS. Now, for the most part, this app has stayed the same. It has all the same instruments, has the same basic functionality. There's a couple new things which we're going to look at here, but I want to emphasize that a lot of the things are the same, so if you've already been using it, you're going to feel right at home. Now, the things that we are going to look at are a little bit of the new track counts, because we can add additional tracks. We're going to look at recording some of the external instruments inside. And we're going to look at some of the new features like making new sampled instruments, which I think is pretty cool and how easy that is and taking existing material and making them into new instruments. It's very easy. So what I'm doing right now is just pulling up a drum loop. And then what we're going to do after that is actually open up a different instrument. We're going to open up one of the new features which allows us to very easily use external instruments to GarageBand. So it's right here. It's called Inner App Audio Apps. You can see I've got two of them currently installed. We're going to load the mini. So it's going to ask us for some access here and then it'll actually load that app. Now this doesn't work with every single app but the ones that it does work with actually tie straight in. So you're able to actually control the transport of GarageBand inside this other app. Record there. You'll hear both when you push play. It's a lot like using Audiobus or one of those other apps like that. Now it's actually very difficult when working with this using the screen capture because there's a lot of delay with AirPlay. However, what I'm going to do is show you I recorded a note and now I'm going to show you the sampler functionality which allows us to cut up a piece of the audio that you can record. And we just recorded one note of that synth. And then, once we have it cut up, we can drag it into the new sampler audio track and it will automatically import it. And then we can use it to play. So now, that synthesizer is now an instrument inside GarageBand instead of being an external instrument. One note at a time is not very complex sampling, but it's very cool sampling. Now the last thing I want to look at is loading up a track. This is a part of an album I worked on a couple years ago in North Carolina. It's a bluegrass group, and I'm going to import all their tracks. I have more than eight, and so I wanted to actually pull these in. Now one thing about this right here, you saw that optimize the audio. I had to make that 2000 speed because there was going so slow. It took many minutes to actually do that first optimization, but I wanted to still put it in there so you can see it. it took forever. Now I'm going to push play on this. I actually went through and did a lot of mixing with level changes and panning and adding some of the effects that you can do. Very limited, but it was amazing that I could play this full project on my iPad without any additional help. Last thing we want to look at is saving this. We're going to put it up on the cloud by clicking the cloud button once you have this selected. It takes a little while, especially with this bigger project. It's about 15 minutes or so. And then... Once you have that done, what's really cool is that you can go into your GarageBand on your Mac and you can now go to iCloud, import GarageBand for iOS song, and then it pops right up. So you can now take those projects with essentially just a couple clicks. <laughs> and there we have it. Okay. So that is GarageBand for iOS. The update, we looked at some of the new features. We looked at being able to create the sample tracks. We looked at the additional track count. You can see it has a new interface, but essentially the same app, just with some really cool updates and more power.
wait till we get the MacBook Air where you can actually run more than the new 16 tracks and be able to run full projects on there. It's going to be smoking fast. Okay, that's it. Have a great day.